Hi, I'm Josh Catalis. You know, part of the regular checkup of going to the doctor on a yearly basis is getting your blood work completed. And oftentimes people get their blood work year after year, year after year, and they're told it's normal until one day, surprise, it's not normal anymore. When we look at blood work, we look at what's called a reference range. Where are you supposed to be in that blood test? And when you fall out of that reference range, that's when we can diagnose the illness. However, if we look at what's called optimal reference ranges, we can prevent this years before it becomes a problem and actually get some really good insight into if the body is not in its optimal state and if there's biochemical imbalances. Let's look at iron as an example. You know, labs will give you a reference range of, you know, around 15 to 250. So if you end up getting 15, you're gonna to be told you're normal. If your blood test shows that you're 250, you're also gonna to be told you're normal. But I always thought, isn't there an optimal range in there? And the answer is yes for almost every blood test. Let's look at vitamin D for an example. With vitamin D, they're really just making sure that you don't get rickets, which is the vitamin D deficiency disease. And as such, their reference range is often about 75 nanomoles to 250 nanomoles. If you're at 75 or above, you're probably not gonna get rickets. You have a 99% decreased chance. However, there's been a tremendous amount of research on the benefits of having optimal vitamin D levels, where that needs to be to prevent a whole bunch of different illnesses, different cancers, different autoimmune diseases. Breast cancer, if you're at 80 nanomoles, there's a 33% decreased incidence of breast cancer. But if you're at 130 nanomoles, there's an 80% decrease incidence. That's a huge spread. We're talking about a lot of people that could prevent getting breast cancer from making their blood levels in the optimal range. So this is the difference between normal reference ranges and optimal reference ranges. And we want to know what those are so we can get in that healthy range and prevent disease. This is Functional Nutrition.